Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bailey, and I'm the author of A Taste of the Maritimes, Local Seasonal Recipes the Whole Year Round, and today I'm at the offices of Nimbus Publishing. A Taste of the Maritimes is a book for any cook. It's a book for somebody who works a 9-to-5 job and comes home and has a half hour or 45 minutes to make dinner for your family. It's for people who have time to cook on the weekends. It's for people who aren't very experienced cooks and maybe have only very basic skills. Basically, this is a way to introduce local, seasonal, delicious maritime produce to everyone. What's my favorite thing about being an East Coast author? You know, it's funny because writing is a solitary pursuit, but uh, for me, the best thing has really been the sense of community that comes with being in a culture that is very well established. Um, and uh, working with farmers who are family farmers, uh, in many cases I've gotten to know people who work a farm that they inherited from their parents, who inherited it from their parents. Um, and there's such a rich sense of history and community. People here know each other very well and they support each other. And becoming a part of that through my writing has been pretty fantastic. What's the one thing readers would be surprised to learn about me? Maybe that um, even though I'm a professional food writer, I'm really an amateur cook. Um, and I think that sets me apart from most people who write cookbooks who are professional cooks and perhaps work in a restaurant kitchen and also write for home cooks. I am strictly a home cook. <laughs> and a lot of the food that I actually make for my family is very simple because both my husband and I work and we have uh, an active six-year-old son. Uh, often I spend just half an hour in the kitchen before dinner and while we eat a lot of excellent local fresh food, a lot of it is really very simple. And um, I think that's something that I love to share with my readers because I think most people who are interested in fresh local seasonal food are also very busy people who work and aren't experts in the kitchen. So sharing how you can do it and do it simply, you know, is a passion of mine. Where do I go the most besides my home? Uh, well, honestly, it's the farmer's market. Every Thursday, I go to the farmer's market in Lunenburg, and uh, I do my shopping, of course, but I also have conversations with all of the food producers who I buy my food from. Uh, most of the people who I'm good friends with also go to the market, and that's the time in the week when we all get a chance to see each other, maybe get a cup of coffee and a pastry and sit down, listen to some music, chat. It's a it's a rich community experience. What am I reading right now? Um, that's a hard question to answer. I have to confess that ever since I got an e-reader, I've been uh, reading three or four books at a time because I can take my whole library with me wherever I go. But right now, let's see, I've got um, At Home, A Short History of Private Life by Bill Bryson, who's one of my favorite nonfiction authors. Uh, Tomato Land by Barry Estabrook, which is a fascinating book about uh, the commercial growing and, and selling of tomatoes, and I can guarantee will keep you from ever buying another tomato from Florida. And uh, The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides, who's one of my favorite fiction authors and uh, really reminds me of The Cookbook Collector by Allegra Goodman, which of course is also a favorite of mine. <laughs>